Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video, we're going to have a look at question 63 to 65 of section 3 of the purple booklet. This is comparing three types of fish, their maximum muscle temperature at different water temperatures. Question 63 asks, if the graph lines continue to be linear outside the water temperature range shown, for which the following is maximum muscle temperature closest to water temperature. I'll move where I've written this, and we can imagine what the lines might look like if we were to continue drawing them. This one would continue, as it says, linearly like this, as with this one and this one. A says yellow fin at a water temperature of zero. Well, as the water temperature would be zero around here, the line would be um, a lot lower than that, and the maximum muscle temperature would be probably around five with the scale used here. For B, it says yellow fin at the water temperature of five degrees C. Um, it's got a higher maximum muscle temperature than at that point, uh, greater than 10. We can see it on the, the bottom line there. If we look at C, then it says a blue fin at water temperature of 40. Well, following this line over on water temperature of around 40, which would be around there, um, we can see that the maximum muscle temperature would be around probably 35, if not a little bit above. And then skipjack at a water temperature of 40 um, would have a higher temperature, which is closer to 40. And as you can see here, um, it would be pretty much at 40. So the difference between the water temperature and the maximum muscle temperature would be the smallest for this one. And so the answer for this one is going to be D. If you look at 64, then it says, which of the following best describes the relationship between maximum muscle temperature and water temperature for the skipjack? So the skipjack is this middle line here. And we can see that as the water temperature increases, so too does the maximum muscle temperature. But the gradient of that line um, will tell us whether or not the maximum muscle temperature is increasing faster um, than the water temperature, or if it's increasing slower than the water temperature. If we have a look at the difference between uh, the temperature of the water and the maximum muscle temperature, let's say at 10 degrees C, um, a skipjack has a maximum muscle temperature of around 20. If we double the water temperature and go up to 20 degrees C, we can see that the skipjack's one doesn't double and is just above 25 then at this point, comparing it to around here. And because it doesn't double, it's not going to be um, a constant, so we can get rid of A as an option. Of course, it does, uh, the temperature does increase, but the difference between the maximum muscle temperature and the water temperature does decrease. So initially, um, at the point we looked at here, the skipjack had a maximum muscle temperature that was 10 degrees C higher than that of the water temperature. Whereas it, when we have a look at uh, this value here at 20 degrees C water, um, we can see that the difference between the maximum muscle temperature and the water temperature has decreased. And so we can say that the answer for number 64 is going to be that it decreases linearly. Of course, it wouldn't decrease in a non-linear way. We're looking at two um, linear axes and we've got a straight line. So it's going to be a linear relationship between the two. And finally, for 65, it says which of the three tuna species is most likely to live and be active in water of the greatest temperature range. So before we go through the options, let's think about what the question means. The animal that is best uh, suited to live in a warmer water temperature will have a line which has a lower gradient. That's the way I think about it, because then there'd be less of a difference between the maximum muscle temperature and the water temperature. So it'll be better adapted. In the stem, we were told that there are things called retia, which are these small arterial and venous blood supplies, um, and that acts like a heat exchange structure. So the one that's most adapted will have the most effective retia. And so the change in, or the difference between the water temperature and the maximum muscle temperature will be less. So the gradient would be less. That's the way I think of it. So if we look at the one with the least gradient, it's going to be the blue fin. And so the answer for number 65 is going to be A, blue fin. So that was question 63 to 65 of section 3 of the purple booklet, looking at um, the difference between temperature um, of 
muscle and water temperature. I hope that helped.